Hey everyone, in this video I would like to get to the basic of probability and talk about several fundamental concepts in this field. Namely, I will try to explain to you what is a marginal probability, what is a joint probability and what is a conditional probability and also the relationship between them. To make things clearer, let's use a simple example involving a user database which contains some clothes our user bought and the location from where they bought them. For the sake of simplicity, let's say that we want to track only the following items t-shirts, trousers and shoes which can be bought only from the following locations New York and California. And here depicted in the cell of the table we have the respective number of clothes that were bought at each location. We can further calculate how many clothes were sold at each location and how many units of each item were sold overall, no matter the location. Finally, we can compute the total number of clothes sold at all locations and if we divide by this number, we get the probabilities of selling a specific piece of clothing at a specific location, which is known as the joint probability. The joint probability measures the likelihood of two events happening simultaneously. In our example, a joint event could be that of selling a t-shirt in New York, which is equal to 0.13, or selling some shoes in California, which is equal to 0.17. And all of these events are mathematically defined as P of AB, where A is the first event, which in our case is selling one of the pieces of clothing, and B is the second event, which is selling at a certain location. So all of these probabilities here are joint probabilities, and if we were to put all together, they would form the joint probability distribution of selling a piece of coating at a certain location, which again, as the name suggests, would indicate us how likely it is to sell a specific piece of clothing at a specific location. Moving on, let's say that we want to calculate the probability of selling a pair of trousers, no matter the location, a probability that's known as the marginal probability of an event, or simply put, the probability of a single event occurring, independent of, of other events. In our case, we can obtain this value through a process known as marginalization, which sums up the joint probabilities over all the possible values of a variable we want to eliminate. So, to compute the probability of selling a pair of trousers, we would have to sum the probability of selling a pair of trousers in New York and the probability of selling a pair of trousers in California which gives us the value here of 0.26. Similarly, we can obtain the probabilities of selling a pair of shoes and selling a t-shirt by marginalizing the location, which again, in our case, means to sum over all locations. And if we were to put all of this together, we'd get a marginal probability distribution of selling a piece of clothing, no matter the location. We can further apply the same logic and obtain the marginal probability of selling a piece of clothing in New York and the marginal probability of selling a piece of clothing in California. And both these cells depict the marginal probability distribution of selling all pieces of clothing at a specific location. Finally, what if we want to compute the probability of selling a t-shirt if we know our user is from New York? It would be tempted to say that it's right there, the joint probability of selling a t-shirt in New York or 0.13, and you wouldn't be too far from the truth. However, we are not asking what's the probability of selling a t-shirt to a user in New York, which in the case of the joint probability would be just fine. We know that our user is in New York and we would like to know how probable it is to buy a t-shirt. So, in a sense, we don't care about those probabilities here in California at all. We just care about these ones in New York. To take this into account, we have to compute, you guessed it, the conditional probability of selling a t-shirt given that the user is based in New York, which is done by reducing the space we are interested in. Mathematically, this is done by dividing the corresponding joint probability by the probability of the location being New York. And if we would do that for all the clothes, we get the following. And we can further observe now that the conditional probabilities are different from what we have had before with the joint probabilities, and that the actual probability of selling a t-shirt knowing that our user is from New York has increased from 0.13 to 0.25. So, to recap, first we have the joint probability which presents the probability of two events happening at the same time, then secondly, we have the marginal probability of an event which outlines the probability of that event happening, 
independent of all other events and is obtained by marginalizing all other events. And finally, we have the conditional probability, which represents the chance of an event happening, given that we already know that another event has already happened. And it's obtained by dividing the joint probability by the probability of the second event. And here we have it, the definition of all these three types of probabilities and how they are linked together. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. Please leave a like if you did and share your thoughts in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the content I create on this channel. See you next time. Bye bye.